Hello and thank you for watching. In this video, we're going to review the Roadster Deluxe Mobility Scooter by Merit's Health USA. It has a top speed of 4 miles per hour, can hold up to 260 pounds, and can travel up to 6 miles on a full battery. To turn the scooter on, simply put the key in the ignition and turn it clockwise. As you can see, it has a delta tiller which can be used with one hand independently. You don't have to use both hands. The speed control knob is going to be just like any other speed controller knob counterclockwise makes the unit slower if you rotate the dial to the right it will make it faster clockwise that is we do recommend starting off using this scooter in the slow position until you get used to it it has a rather loud horn which is a high pitched kind of beeping sound you can disengage the automatic braking system by tilting the lever forward as shown here and then you can push it manually. You do need to put it back into the locked position or else the scooter will not work. In the rear we have some anti-tip wheels, reflectors, and a pouch on the back of the seat. The seat comes with armrests. They are removable and they can flip up. You can also rotate the seat using the lever on the right hand side. Simply lift it up and then rotate. The chair will lock into position. It has eight different locking positions. You can also adjust the tiller by bringing it forward or back. Simply loosen the tiller adjustment knob at the base and then retighten it. If you tilt the tiller all the way forward, you can rotate the seat 360 degrees. The chair is easily removable. Simply pick straight up. And the battery is also easily removable. Simply grab it by the handle, firmly lift up, and it will disconnect from the base. There is a charging port on the battery box itself and a fuse trip button so that in the event that you trip the fuse and the unit stops working, you can try to press that button and see if it turns back on. To take the unit apart, it's very easy and we're going to demonstrate how. You'll want to go ahead and lower the tiller all the way down and then look for the black tab right behind the seat post that the seat connects to. You can press that down and then lift the seat post up and away from the rear. That will disconnect the unit. Now, one thing that you may notice is that the steering handlebars of the tiller will swing around when you're moving the front end into the trunk of your car or into the cargo space of your SUV, and that's not really good. We're gonna show you how to fix that. But to put it back together, it's quite simple. Line up the front and the back and simply drop it into place. Now. To prevent the handlebar from the t for the tiller to not swing around from left to right uncontrollably, there's a yellow lever on the front of the scooter. Engage that yellow lever to the forward position and it will lock your tiller handlebar. It will prevent you from being able to, to turn the handlebar at all. If you leave that engaged when you're trying to use the scooter, you won't be able to turn. It's only meant to be engaged when you're transporting the scooter in the trunk of a car or in the cargo space of an SUV so that the handlebar does not swing around uncontrollably while taking turns in your vehicle. So again, when you lower the tiller bar for transportation, you rotate the tiller knob counterclockwise, retighten it clockwise, and put the unit back together by grabbing the battery box and placing it right back into the cradle. It's very easy to do, it drops right in. The seat has a male connector on the bottom which slides into the seat post, you do need to engage the rotation lever when putting the seat in. If you do not have that rotation lever up, the seat will not lock in and you won't be able to use the rotating feature. The four wheel versioning is nearly identical to the three wheel, except for the fact that it has four wheels and it's a bit more stable. The turning ability is not going to be as sharp with the four wheel because the three wheel has a much better turning radius and ability to take sharper turns being that it only has one turning point in the front instead of two. Other than that, the two scooters, the Roadster three-wheel and the Roadster four-wheel are nearly identical. As you can see, they work the same way. One thing to keep in mind when you first receive your Roadster mobility scooter is the batteries need to be charged overnight. We offer this scooter tax-free and with free shipping at mobilityscootersdirect.com.